This video has been highly requested for the longest time and I finally feel like I have the mom thing down enough where I can get in usually three meals a day. So I'm going to be filming my what I eat in a day as a breastfeeding mom. I'm gonna keep this as realistic as possible. I have watched a couple of these videos and I'm sitting there thinking like, this is really what you eat in a day? Cause that just seems kind of unrealistic. I always start my morning off with coffee. So Israel usually wakes up anywhere between 9 to 11 and I get him up change his diaper run out to the kitchen and grab my coffee which you guys already saw I always drink it in my hydro flask this is a mom hack a mom tip if you are constantly finding yourself warming up your coffee invest in one of these hydro flasks it keeps your coffee warm forever I'm not kidding you some days uh, it'll take me like two to three hours to drink my coffee and it's always warm in my hydro flask after I have my coffee I usually drink it while I'm nursing him and then we will Play on the floor while I'm doing my Bible study and prayer journal after that is all done I usually change him again and then put him down for his nap his first morning nap and his naps have not been very good lately So I'm really hoping and praying that he has a good nap day so he is currently sleeping right now and it is 11:40, and i'm finally getting my breakfast of the day so i'm not gonna lie even if i didn't have to wait until israel went down for his first nap i probably wouldn't eat until this late anyways i am not a morning eater i love breakfast food but i'm not a big morning eater i just for some reason my entire life have always felt sick in the morning um i know that there's a lot of other people who can relate to that because i've talked to a lot of people like i just food does not sound satisfying it makes me want to gag like i cannot eat i have to wake up for a couple hours before i eat in the morning lately i have been loving making a breakfast burrito so that's what i'm going to do right now and i will show you guys what i use um, and I change it up every once in a while and things like that. So let's go ahead and get started on my breakfast. baby monitor and enjoy my breakfast slash lunch since it is now 12. I always mix it up like sometimes I don't even make a breakfast burrito sometimes I add mushrooms sometimes I like to add bell peppers sometimes I like to do some hash browns on the side as well but I'm always drinking my breakfast with some oat milk because that seems to be really helping with my milk production since oats are good oatmeal is good for milk production. I thought that oat milk probably would be too. So I've been really loving the vanilla kind of oat milk and yeah, it's super yummy. I do not like any nut milks. Like I am not a big fan of nut milk, but I finally decided to try oat milk and I actually love it. Every time we go to the store, I am buying oat milk. All right, so it is now almost two in the afternoon 
and something that I thought I would mention is that since I am breastfeeding and just because I feel like I'm a thirsty person in general I do strive to drink about three to four of these a day and this is 40 ounces I drink a lot of water the best way to keep your supply up is to be making sure that you're drinking water so again i drink about three to four 40 ounce hydroflas a day and then plus i usually drink one glass of oat milk and then i usually do smoothies and things like that so i'm making sure that i get a lot of liquids in my diet another thing that i forgot to mention earlier is that i currently don't have any restrictions so i eat dairy i eat gluten i eat everything um i try to stay on the more healthy side it doesn't always work out that way but i do try to strive to be eating a healthy diet and i try to do what's called intuitive eating where i just eat until i'm full i eat what sounds good um and go from there so i just wanted to talk about this little cookie ball that i'm about to eat so this is a lactation cookie i put peanut butter coconut oil oats coconut flour coconut sugar brown sugar i forgot to put chia seeds in it this time brewer's yeast eggs i think that's about it and i kind of changed up the recipe a little bit by adding in a couple of extra things but i usually eat one to two of these guys a day and this is like a really good treat so these are just good cookies in general thought i'd share that i am eating one of these right now and i'll probably have another one later on today all right so it is almost 3 40 and this is usually the time that i have my lunch i'm still pretty full from my breakfast so i'm just gonna do a smoothie today for lunch my smoothies are pretty filling as it is so i'll show you guys how I make them and hey. Aiden is home so he requested that I make him a peanut butter honey sandwich for his lunch whoa the lighting so I always just make a personal smoothie and it's just super convenient and super easy to make my smoothie personal sized and drink it out of this cup all right so for all of my smoothies I never use measurements I kind of just eyeball it and throw things in there and it usually turns out good so First thing that I'm gonna put in here is organic baby spinach, Trader Joe's organic tropical fruit blend, organic unsweetened coconut flakes, organic chia seeds, mango nectar juice, silk dairy-free peach mango yogurt. Wow, this is really good. Since I don't measure, my smoothies usually do come out different pretty much every time. And I'm always adding in different things, taking out things. I mix it up a bunch. With my smoothie today, I know I said I was just going to have my smoothie, but I kind of want something more. I'm going to heat up some leftover pasta that I have in the fridge and eat that as well. So the pasta that I'm eating is from Trader Joe's. I think I have another bag right here. So it's just a frozen quick meal, super easy. You just throw it in a pan with a little bit of oil and it takes like seven minutes to cook. And it's super filling, super yummy, not the healthiest. Like I said, I try to be healthy, but sometimes you just gotta have a little bit of pasta. And for me, that means a lot of bit of pasta. All right, guys, so it is now 6.05 and Aiden and I are getting ready to make some dinner. So tonight we're gonna do one of our favorite dinners, super easy, super delicious, and it's just chicken and rice. And then today we're also gonna be doing some sweet potato fries. Usually we make these by ourselves. We buy yams or sweet potatoes, whatever you wanna call it cut them up and then put them in the oven but we do have some that we bought from trader joe's that are super yummy so i think we're gonna do those so we're gonna go ahead and preheat the oven right now to 425 because lately our favorite way to make chicken is to put it in the oven at 425 for 30 minutes and that keeps it 
super like moist still and cooks it like super evenly and pretty I mean it's not quicker than pan cooking it but it is still pretty quick especially if I'm making rice because rice usually takes about 30 minutes anyways <laughs> dinner turned out super simple super easy and yummy literally took zero effort zero effort and it's like one of me and aiden's favorite meals to have i wanted to go ahead and show you guys the supplements slash vitamins that i take on a daily basis so i take two chewable tablets of vitamin c in the morning obviously vitamin c is good for your immune system and is really important to have especially during cold and flu season so i take two of these in the morning i actually just started taking these today this is to help with um, milk flow not necessarily production but helping get your hind milk out so i have had a clogged duct in the past and it was super super painful but this stuff is super awesome for people who have trouble with clogged ducts and mastitis and stuff like that i don't have an issue with that i just want to make sure that all of my hind milk is basically flowing out the way that it needs to be especially because israel has not been having very long feedings lately and it's important for him to be getting that so these i take one in the morning and one at night time I'm still taking my prenatals. I take one every single night. And then I don't take these necessarily every single day, but I do take these pretty often. And these are my papaya enzymes. These were my holy grail when I was pregnant and had horrible heartburn. I would literally pop these like candy. Um, these are super, super delicious, honestly. Like they're so yummy, but they're really good for what it says, the after meal supplement. So like after dinner, I usually take these because it just helps break down the food and helps to absorb all the nutrients from the food that you ate. So just wanted to show you guys all of these. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. So I'm going to give this video a shout out. And that shout out is going to go to Holly Lane. So shout out to you, Holly. And if you would like a shout out, all you have to do is be subscribed and comment down below. If you have any prayer requests, make sure to comment those down below. And if they're too personal, you can always DM either me or Aiden on our Instagrams. I'm also going to read a verse of the vlog. And today's verse is Philippians 4, 6. And it says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. You guys are loved and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.